Hey guys, me Keith, Elder Rock, back with another episode of Arcade Laboratories. And it's a continuation of our viewer mail saga, our section of viewer mail. A lot of good questions I've had from you guys, and we're going to go down the list and try to get them all. Okay, so this question comes from a subscriber, uh, Wayne. Wayne, Wayne, Wayne. Okay, Wayne, I'm loving your questions, man. So let's let's dig into this one. So Wayne's question is about regulated and unregulated power supplies. Um, why do arcade games? Why do arcade games? Why do arcade games use unregulated AC voltage and DC voltages? Because not our not all arcade voltage supply all. Of, Arcade game voltage supply taps will use regulated AC and regulated DC voltages, which I'm not sure why an arcade designer would want to use unregulated voltages without the IC chips loading them down, um, as well as the ripple voltage of unregulated supplies causing problems with the IC chips on the board. Uh, for some reason, designers choose not to use unregulated voltage, decide to use unregulated voltage for a reason I don't understand, uh, for a reason, but I'm not sure what it is. Okay, so let's let's just kind of go through some differences of, of, first of all, to answer that question, let's just go through some of the, um, some of the reasons of why you use regulated and unregulated power. Um, Okay, so basically, regulated power, uh, just kind of going back to the basics, regulated power supplies are able to supply regulated DC voltages to sensitive electronics equipment. Okay, so the difference, I'm just going to talk, yeah, um, you guys can read along. Or So the difference between regulated and unregulated, regulated power supplies, the, the output voltage does not change given your 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 current load so basically it's kind of self-adjusting so if you have unregulated power supply you can load it down and the voltage will not change versus unregulated power where if you load it down uh it the the voltage does change depending your 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 load so some of the reasons in arcade boards some of the reasons in arcade boards um <clears throat> why 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 do games use both uh, there's a couple few reasons so um one reason i'll just go back to me why not i'm talking okay so one reason um unregulated voltage is used is for audio sections for one audio sections on on arcade PCBs, uh, the 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 audio the audio amplifiers and the audio circuitry will create its own regulation. So you can use unregulated voltage to supply uh, supply an audio section, the op amp, and the gain circuitry within it within within it that own circuit will will create its own will create its own regulated power. So you don't need to put you don't need to put regulated power into a into an audio section because it'd just be redundant. It'd be more cost and uh, more points of failure if you if you put regulated voltage into an audio section. There's really no need. So and also look at kind of thinking about like block diagram of a power supply in an arcade cabinet. There's lots of lots of um, things that that unregulated power is uh, used for coin mix uh lights um the light bulbs filament bulbs things that are not sensitive to voltage drops and ripple uh is is why unregulated power is, is used and supplied and available um in an arcade power supply design because it's more than just the, the cpu board so like cpu boards logic boards um if you have external rom boards yeah those are all very per, per, precision electronics those boards need to run at a stable five volts so 
you have a you have a logic board, CPU board, a certain amount of, of draw. Some 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 games, some game boards are are current hogs like high amperage draw, and you can't have your power fluctuating. So that's what why you use regulated like on the ICs. They have to be they're sensitive. They have to be um, precision voltage given the load. So. Um, let's go back. I, I pulled this up. I'm going to put these links down below like I did in my other, uh, like my other, um, questions. So let's just kind of the basics, uh, regulated versus, uh, unregulated. And this is kind of get you thinking, um, well, I like this usage one, Elect uh, uses regulated, uh, Electronic used in electronic devices such as computers, TVs, etc., should always use regulated power supplies. Kind of for the reason I just talked about. You have microprocessors, uh, ICs, things that require a, a stable voltage uh, to, to run properly uh, given its load. So, unregulated, unregulated. Uh, usage be things like DC motors, LED lamps, things that are not sensitive to small voltage variations. Kind of like you're talking about, Wayne, with your comment about uh, uh, Ripple. You know, things things of that nature, uh, Ripple doesn't really affect, not, not as much as uh, CPU boards and stuff like that. So, um, and then when you think about why designers do stuff, um, I like this. The, the cost is definitely uh, an option or a consideration. Like when, when designers are making things, again, things like audio sections, it would be redundant to put regulated a uh, regulated circuit to feed an audio circuit when the audio circuit will already create its own regulated power. Um, so th there is a cost factor there too. Um, let's see. And I think we already kind of covered the other basics. Uh, output voltage, regulated, regulated output voltage is not dependent, not is not dependent on the load. It will stay the same, thus called regulated. It will regulate voltage given the load, where output voltage of unregulated will will vary depending on your load. So um, now when you're talking about regulated power supplies you can break it down there's two different kinds so and I like how they work so this is a linear power supply that has a transformer and it has rate um ice like this one has an ic voltage regulator now switcher power supplies like it's dark in here but like this guy back here like that guy um how how they regulate the circuitry on how they regulate is a little bit different so I'm not going to get into that, but um, there is a difference in circuitry from switching to linear. Now, uh, at least I like the linears for arcade stuff because cleaner power, I think they're more stable. Um, you know, that is definitely the cost-effective way to upgrade your arcade machines. A lot of people use them. They work okay. But not not all boards, not all systems, not all cabinets um, like those as much as they like these. So, um, so I was going to take you over to the schematic here. I'm going to try to hold this still. So when we talk about regulated circuitry, like what, like how it works. Um, so regulated regulated circuitry, and Wayne, this this goes back. I'm going to try to answer your question on how can a technician know if they don't have schematics, if you don't have schematics, how do you know if you're dealing with, with regulated or unregulated power? So that's why I kind of want to I point some stuff out here because basically if you have a board or power or you, whatever board you have on the bench in front of you, by by kind of knowing how regulated works, you, you can you, by visually inspecting and doing co continuity test and 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 tracking down your lines um, is gonna you can find out pretty easily if you're regulated or unregulated. Okay, so this is an IC seventeen twenty three voltage regulator, and basically it works off 
using um, a series of capacitors and resistors and diodes to sense pretty much sense your current load and then it feeds back in uh, using uh, through your voltage reference and it will keep your voltage regulated as your current load changes. So kind of looking at it on the schematic, um, you'll see a voltage regulator, you'll see um, the values of your resistors will create your voltage output that you're trying to hold. Um, so if we come over here, like to a power supply, come back, come over to this guy, you'll see we have um, a couple voltage regulators and we'll see a, a series of uh, resistors and some capacitors. And that, that's your clue right there. Um, you know you have regulated. If you see this on your board, something like this, a voltage regulator, resistors, you know that its output, whatever this output is, is going to be regulated. Um, so let's go back over to the schematic. So if we look at the schematic, um, let's just take these guys for example. Uh, we have a bunch of unregulated voltage here. So if we follow those back on the schematic, dun, 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 dun. if we follow those back on the schematic, these two, let's just like go this guy, it's coming back to um, 0.3 on a bridge rectifier. And the other two lines are, they're on the front of this, of this bridge rectifier. So you're getting a negative voltage here and a positive voltage here. Yep, I think, right? Are those all positive? Ah, that one's negative, okay. So the negative's drawn off the side of the bridge rectifier. Okay, so basically, if you follow your lines back, like if this is a tap that, like a voltage, you're not sure, if you use um, a multimeter and follow those lines back and find where they go, if you're coming right off of a bridge rectifier, uh, you're, you're pretty much unregulated. Um, so like if we were to come in here, if we were to come in here, we follow, ah, another question. You ask about taps, uh, measuring on taps. How do you know if you're regulated or unregulated? So pretty much, pretty much anything off of a transformer, you're unregulated here. There's no gain circuitry. So you have AC in, AC out. You come back through and uh, you see your bridge rectifiers here. You got one there, one here, one here. That's where your AC to DC conversion happens. So your outputs on your bridge rectifiers are still unregulated. There's no, still no um, regulated regulation circuitry. So if you did not have schematics with your, with your multimeter, you, you could follow it back around and see where they go. If, if, if your taps, if any of your, DC taps go to a bridge rectifier, you're unregulated. But if you follow them around, if you follow them around from your bridge rectifier, and they are, and they are going to your voltage rec regulator circuitry, then you know that 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 is going to be regulated. So same deal. If you have your output here. You can use your multimeter and follow each one around, buzz it out, and see, does it does it go here? Does it go to the regulation circuitry, or does it go right back to a bridge rectifier? That's probably the best way on the bench to see if you're regulated or unregulated. So it's definitely not impossible. Um, sometimes with the scope, if you measure... Depending the circuit, you could see the ripple like you're talking about. You would unregulated. You might you might have a nice sawtooth uh, pattern that you could like visually see if you probed it out. Like on this one though, the it, it's pretty smooth, so you can't tell at least on this power supply on the O scope by looking at the signal. But definitely by being aware of of how unregulated works versus regulated you can follow it back around on your board and see okay does it come right off the bridge rectifier 
or does it come off of like the regulated if you follow that back dun, 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 is going to come off of um, one of your pins on your your voltage output on your on your voltage regulator now if you're dealing with a switching if you're dealing with a switching power supply it's, it's going to be a little different you have to get familiar with that but at least for arcade stuff this is how it works so um let's go back and see if we covered your your full question there my phone is my my phone is getting ready to die okay so i think we covered this question and I, you had another you had another question about voltage regulation um where was it? Is it up here? Okay, I think we covered them. How do you tell without the schematic, and why do they use it? So I think we covered. I think we covered that. Um, they use unregulated voltage again, just to kind of recap. Unregulated voltage to to power things that are not sensitive to ripple, um. And things like power, like audio circuitry that has its own uh, regulation, and then how to find. So I hope it might. Yeah, I think I'm going to cut this one. I think I'm going to cut this one short. I didn't realize um, my 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 phone was so low on voltage on voltage. Yeah, I wonder if it's regulated or unregulated. But anyway, um, that's going to wrap up this viewer question. I hope that helps. If you need more explanation or if I sucked or if you liked it, let me know in the comments. But I hope you liked it. I like doing them. So, okay, we'll see you later. Bye, guys. Dun, 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 dun.